So I had been looking for a calculation for my spreadsheet, uh, open office spreadsheet, but this will work for Excel as well. I've been looking for one for years and years, and a friend of mine who I'm actually making this video for, um, along with the YouTube audience, uh, asked me and I just couldn't figure it out and I haven't been able to, as I said, for years. And then I found this video on YouTube, Stephen Hart, is a trader and trading educator and he has a video on risk management if you search in his channel you'll find it uh, maximum drawdown uh, calculation and I've modified that quite extensively to come up with my own his measures off of the um, peak equity high so it's a measure of drawdown from account high rather than drawdown in absolute dollars, which is what I'm looking for, because I feel it's more informative uh, for reasons which um, I won't go into in this video so as not to make it too long. So here you go. If you're looking for some a way to um, find out your maximum drawdown in dollars on within your equity curve, then this is what stay tuned and follow this tutorial. So what you need is, uh, let's see, what you need is... I just saw something that didn't look right there. Okay, what you need is this. If equals if, and then open bracket, and this goes for open office, you'll just have to modify it for Excel. If open bracket A3, so that's this over here. This, by the way, you, I'm assuming you have a running PL to make your equity curve over here. So you've got an equity curve that you want to examine for max drawdown. And this is where we're going to draw the information from to get our calculation for the maximum drawdown. So if A3 equals blank, then blank. Otherwise, minus 1 multiplied by, in brackets, the maximum from A2 to A3 minus A3. So let's, let's do that. If A3 equals blank, it's not blank. So therefore, it's not going to be blank. So if A3 equals blank, then blank. Otherwise, and this is our case here, minus 1 multiplied by maximum value within A2 to A3, and the maximum value is um, 0, because minus 53.68 is lower than 0. So the maximum value minus A3 multiplied by minus 1. Uh, which should equal, actually it should equal um, plus 53.68, unless I'm getting that wrong. Let me pause the video and think about that. No, that's right, I just forgot that there's a, a minus here. So minus 1 multiplied by 0 minus minus 53.68. So we have three minuses, one here, one there, and one here. And that makes it positive and then negative. So that's the number. Then here, if we go down here, we've got if A4 is blank, then blank. Otherwise, minus 1 times the max of A2 to A4. So each time we're stepping down 1, A2 remains, hence the dollar signs, and A4, the next one will say A5, the next one A6, so on and so forth. So if we do this calculation here, the highest value, 67.64, minus A4 brings us to 0 multiplied by minus 1 is still 0. And if we go here, um, the maximum maximum value is 67.64 minus this um, gives us 53.68 uh, multiplied by minus 1 minus 53.68 um, and, and so on and so forth. So Every time you have a zero, it means it's a new equity high. These values, if we look here, for example, it will say minus 58 off of the, the maximum high of the equity curve before this value. That's the secret to this formula. It calculates it on each variable, so you don't have the problem of picking a high that hasn't come yet and looking at that as a maximum drawdown. So, so to explain what I mean, if you um, did it any other way, the, um, a formula might choose this high and this low and count that as a maximum drawdown. But as we're calculating 
trade by trade it's only going to look back to the highest value before the value that we're calculating and so here you will see um, minus 58.68 because that's the difference between the maximum high here and this and then we drop even lower so the number gets bigger bigger as we drop lower bigger drop lower still bigger and so on and so forth as the number climbs this number is going to start to increase until we pass the new equity high so pass 343.20 and we pass here at 412.51 hence the zero because we aren't we're above the we're at new equity highs so here we're at new equity highs again when we drop off negative so on and so forth so now you have a list of drawdown amounts and now it's just a case of using a formula to draw out the smallest number out of this column and that's going to be your maximum drawdown and remember you're going to use the smallest number because that's going to be the most negative number which for me in this sample size has been minus five hundred eighty three dollars and five cents so for that we're going to uh, go to um, over here and say max drawdown and then here is the formula equals the minimum of and as this is on another page I've had to put the page in as well to draw the spreadsheets attention to that column to indicate that it's C3 in another sheet not on this current sheet which is uh, basic stats it's going to be on equity charts down here C3 to C3000 which is just a generic number that I've chosen to copy and paste the code once you do that that's going to appear there so as we go along that's going to um, get bigger or or hopefully stay this this size this is the biggest it's going to get but for example if I was to go back in time to say the first of April or the second of let's say the second just to leave it the same of April then we'll see this number should change and give us it's taking a bit of time but it should change and give us a smaller value because I hadn't drawn down that much yet let me just pause the video okay there it is minus 116 at that point in time was the maximum I had drawn down and my equity equity was at 233 and 48 cents after 14 trades um, incidentally, um, as you've already seen it, um, I wasn't planning on announcing it, but in the combine, this is where I'm at. So knocking on the door of passing, but on 127 trades and this expectancy 0 0.2236. But as always, anything can happen. I could bump into a string of losers and just miss that 1.5 grand target. Hopefully not. It will be hopefully sometime next week. That I pass if not on Monday. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Give it a like, a thumbs up if you needed a maximum drawdown and this has helped you in any way. Max drawdown calculation. Don't forget to subscribe and see you all in the next video.